Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Wildcats. I'm Alexandra Delgado and I'm Riley Price. Today is Tuesday, May 9th and it is a B-Day. Today's weather will call for showers with a high of 75 and a low of 56. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing or take your seats for a moment of silence. For today's delicious lunch choices, we are serving spaghetti with meat sauce, cheese calzonets, and or sandwich shack grab and go. Tomorrow we have an option of cheese or pepperoni smart slice pizza, barbecue or buffalo chicken wings, or ciabatta grilled cheese with creamy tomato soup. Let's start off today with a big announcement. Congratulations to our 2023 prom court. Danielle Clayton, Liv Hines, Emily Murphy, Emma Wadovic, Cam Bullock, Dion Spencer, Aaron Turner, and Liam Ward. Voting for your king and queen will take place at prom. Good luck to you all. Cats for a Cause Walkathon will take place June 3rd at the Great Bridge Middle Stadium. Registration is only $20, and all proceeds will go to breast cancer and leukemia research in honor of our own Miss Kathy Lucas and Nora Evans. There will be food trucks, face paintings, balloon animals, and inflatable obstacle course. The exclusive step team tryouts for the 2023-2024 school year will be from tomorrow from 4.15 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the Commons. Please wear workout clothes and flat bottom shoes and provide transportation accordingly. Now it is time for our mental health fact of the day. Did you know that over 50 million adults in America struggle with mental illness? This week we're celebrating our teachers. Let's take a look at some of your favorites. My favorite teacher is Mr. Felt because he's always been extremely nice. He knows, see, she agrees. Uh, yeah, he's just overall the best teacher in the school. My favorite teacher is Miss Prioletti. She made English really fun and I really love her. My favorite teacher was Miss Taylor. She was a great history teacher and she was really good with doing notes. <laughs> My favorite teacher is Miss Longworth because she's really nice and she always gives me stickers. Tune in tomorrow for our special guest anchors. Let's give three hips and hoorays for National Buttons Day today. And now we have Emily with our sports update from last week's games and competitions. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Emily McKay. Buckle up, Wildcats. We have a lot of sports updates from last week, so let's get into it. The week started off with a big win for softball and baseball over Oscar Smith. In softball, JV scored 15-4 with Chloe Powell, Nessa Weir, and Haley Crump all getting hits for the team. Varsity all got a win, scoring 20-0 over the Tigers. Shout out to Kylie Swanson with two home runs and six RBIs. Aubrey Steckline also got a home run. JV Baseball also had a shutout winning 22-0 and Varsity won 12-4. Matthew Good, Brady Miles, and Calvin Mabry all drove in multiple runs. On the soccer field, Great Bridge Boys Varsity took down the Tigers 6-1 led by Jack Otley with the hat trick and Cameron Todd with a goal and two assists. Varsity Girls also won 9-1 with goals from Audrey Orock, Ava Gomez, Summer Parr, and assists from Hannah Zaychek, Emily Howell, Mia Greco, Erin McKay, Paige Cable, and Gomez. JV Girls Varsity had a shutout 8-0 with goals from Elizabeth Henson, Emily Bowen, Kirsten Gilbert, Addison Moyer, and Holly Carlson, and assists from Morgan Morissette, Kendall Littard, Ruby Garrison, Isabel Noland, Bowen, and Henson. 
Over at the tennis courts, girls tennis had a phenomenal week defeating Oscar Smith 9-0, Grassfield 9-0, and Grafton 7-2. Against Grafton, Chase London, Marissa Slauson, and Sarah Allen won their matches in a tiebreaker to secure the win. Boys tennis had some tough losses as a team, but John Paul Zano and Grayson Roy had wins in singles, and Zano and Owen Hill took a win in doubles against Oscar Smith. Then against the Grizzlies, Zano got another win in singles with Amadou Dewan and Damian Gillette took a win in doubles. Later in the week, Varsity Baseball defeated Granby 5-2. Connor Fox pitched a complete game with five strikeouts. Matthew Good and Casey Kadire had two hits each. In softball, Varsity took a loss to Grassfield in a very tight game, but JV took down the Grizzlies 8-5. Taylor Capps threw a complete game and had two RBIs. LB Scott went to 3-4 and four at the plate, while Jada Langkill and Tia... Zombar also had hits for the Wildcats. Varsity Soccer rounded out the wins against the Grizzlies 2-0. Goals were scored by Anthony Paniotto and Cohen Forehand. Holden Kinsman was the man of the match, leading the back line in the shutout. Finally, this past Wednesday, the boys and girls track team competed well. Joe Waxman, Aiden Dousman, Orlando Alexander, and Manny Williams placed third overall in the 4x800, while Chadison Cowan, Dante Little, Johansi Deloach, and Donye Gray placed second overall in the 4x100. Shouts, shoutouts to individual wins from Maddie Scott, Campbell Wilson, Manny Williams, and D'Amico Pitts. Scott, Wilson, and Pitts all had personal bests. Hope you're still with us, Wildcats. Let's get back to Alex and Riley for the rest of the morning announcements. Great job, Wildcats. Now let's make some noise for today's joke that's brought to you by Miss Fitzgerald's First Block Class. Hey, Alex, what is Whitney Houston's favorite type of coordination? I don't have a clue. What? Hand eye! <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice one, Riley. We need more of these amazing jokes, so scan that QR code. That's all for today, Wildcats. I'm Alexandra Delgado. And I'm rightly proud. Wake up, Wildcats. <laughs> Make it a great day. <laughs>